front of each other. I know exactly what y'all trying to do, man. It's like, you ever seen them boxing matches or, or UFC where niggas knock each other the fuck out at the same time? That's what that's what URL is trying to see with these two because I see nobody happening. And if a body happening, they're going to decapitate each other. Chess, I haven't seen Chess in forever. At least I didn't. Maybe I got to do some better homework, but I feel like Chess hasn't been around for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like... And I'm sure he has good reasoning too. I feel like it's because he feels like he's been too saturated in the game. Like his face is everywhere. If you see a nigga too much, you don't want to see him no more. You know what I mean? So, but that's that's also what makes him dangerous. Because I feel like he's writing this pen game crazy. By the way, mark my words. I have a feeling about something. Chess is not gonna come struggling with. Like he's not gonna come back with struggle bars. It's gonna have nothing to do with struggle. He's going to address how well he's doing. That's my prediction on Chess's approach. Because, you know, we get it. You struggle, Chess. We get it, man. Let's just let's do some obvious gun bar. We get it. But Chess is not going to be struggling in this battle. Mark my, my words. Um, But JC. JC, JC. That boy been on fire, bro. He been on fire. Like, see, for me, I never thought JC wasn't on fire. I just didn't see much of JC at times because league owners probably thought he was an all fire. But JC's always been that dude. Like, always. His pen game is disgusting. So, but no, he's not going to body chess. And chances are JC's not going to get bodied either. So, we talking about a classic. I'm talking about double homicide. Both of these dudes are going to be in a body bag and they both are going to be the murderers. <laughs> so we talk about a classic. Done deal. The next jump. One of them things. Two of them things. Three of them things. We talk about Chef Trez. Like, really, bruh. That boy's something different. And I always knew that from the Craig Lamar battle. Um, uh, um, touchy. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I was like, hold on, why isn't this, what, what the fuck? Actually, when he battled Dre Dennis, I knew he was a problem. With the one and two of them things, he said the whole flower on your shirt, it's your dumb ass fault, it was something like that. Excuse me if I'm fucking up that hole. But yeah, I knew Chef Trez was a problem from there. But my thing with Chef Trez is, I feel like he, he does so much better in small rooms, but he proved that lately, like, He's, he, I think he's ready for the big stage. But let's be realistic, my dude. I'm talking about going against Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty? Rum Nitty's different, man. Like, Rum Nitty, I like Rum Nitty, I fuck up. If I had to battle Rum Nitty, I would talk through his rounds. I would, I would do shit to distract him because you don't want to fuck with a perfect Rum Nitty. You don't want that. So, my prediction on that battle, though, honestly, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I'm going to go out on the limb and I have to say Chef Trez. One, two, three of them things. It depends on how many of them things he got. Let me say that. If he don't have many of them things, if they don't hit like they should, then I'm sorry. I'm wrong on my prediction. But I'm going to go 2 1 Chef Trez. Rum Nitty, though, you different. Listen, you different. Anyway, yo, subscribe, like, share. Delano Brooklyn, one. Super.